Hey dear viewers, I welcome you to the class 5 of heat exchangers. In this class 5, we will be discussing about LMTD, logarithmic mean temperature difference for parallel flow heat exchangers. Fine. So, already we have started the assumptions, we have stated, we have analyzed the assumptions made in heat transfer heat transfer of heat exchanger analysis in class number 4 fine so as long as LMTD is taken into consideration we have two more assumptions we have discussed seven points in class 4 now we'll continue eighth point is there is no change in phase of either of the fluids that means neither hot fluid nor cold fluid should have a phase change in the other words I can say this is not applicable for condenser and evaporator in simple words. Coming to 9 point, the overall heat transfer coefficient U which we have defined in class number 4 is constant. Fine. So now we will begin with the derivation part. We will first summarize all the parameters that we speak about. So now say M dot H and m dot c be the mass flow rate of hot and cold fluids respectively mass flow rate now specific heats for hot and cold fluids are represented by cph and cpc that is specific heat of cold fluid cp specific heat of hot fluid now heat capacity ratio is ch which is the product of mh into cph likewise product of mc into cpc is cc then we have temperatures of hot fluid like thi for inlet and th not for outlet respectively again we have tci and tc not as temperatures of cold fluids at inlet and outlet respectively these are the parameters we will be coming across fine so now we need to bring in the diagram that is temperature variation for parallel flow heat exchanger and here it is fine so now the black part whatever i have written here is the thing that we have studied in class number one okay fluids are flowing in the same direction and hence it is called as parallel flow can uh, revise these things in class 1 fine so now we are considering an elemental area over here of the value dA correspondingly this is the temperature variation for that small elemental area okay so now the temperature difference at the inlet is theta 1 temperature difference at the outlet theta 2 so temperature difference over here somewhere in the middle is written as theta fine there is a temperature difference from here to here say from point 1 to point 2 that is dth that is change in temperature for hot fluid similarly here dtc change in temperature for cold fluid fine okay so now We'll go ahead with the derivation. Considering a small elemental area dA, the rate of heat transfer is written as dQ, which is equal to U dA d into theta. This expression U dA into theta has been explained to you in class number four. This was the class number four part. In class number four, exactly over here, I have defined Q is U A theta. So, this implies dq is u and theta remains same, a will be dA. For entire area a, heat transfer is q. For small elemental area dA, heat transfer is dq. Likewise, we have got this equation and that is equation number 1. Fine. And I have also told you that in class number 4, we can apply first law of thermodynamics. Class number 4, we I told you that first law of thermodynamics can be applied fine heat transfers can be equated 
so for the elemental area da i'll take dq as the heat transfer which is nothing but heat transfer of that hot and cold fluid for that particular elemental region so you can also say it is dqh and dqc but here we'll consider minus sign because from the basics of thermodynamics heat which has been added to the system is positive and heat which has been rejected by the system is negative so qh is minus and hence dq will be equal to this is mcp dt again from class 4 we have minus sign here this is mcp dt for cold fluid all the suffixes are h for hot all the suffixes are c for cold fluids fine so now here we need to find the values for dtc and dth for these two that can be written in this manner so say i'll take mh into cph product of these two as ch with minus sign carried forward and dth should be equal to mc into cpc as cc into dtc okay so now we will proceed with the derivation re equating these two i'll get dth as dq by ch with minus sign and if i equate these two i'll get dtc as dq by cc fine so dh is dth is minus dq by ch okay and dtc is dq by cc now subtract dth and dtc so this will become minus sign should be equal to this parameter minus this parameter okay so this can be written like minus dq is quite common i have 1 by ch plus 1 by cc so here the temperature difference taken over here is d theta fine that is how we have got this expression minus dq into 1 by ch plus 1 by cc just we have rearranged this equation we have equated dq with this part and dq with the next part we have taken dth and dtc subtraction of these two is itself this term now substituting equation 1 here what is that equation 1 here it is this is equation number 1 dq equals u da theta substitute that equation over here i'll get minus u da theta into 1 by ch plus 1 by cc clear so now over here d theta rearrange this equation taking theta to the denominator it is same now integrate this equation while having integration theta changes from theta 1 to theta 2 that means this is the diagram so this is the value of theta from theta 1 it ranges up to theta 2 it changes up to theta 2 this is the range of the theta fine so area this can be started from here from 0 to maximum a okay so this will become 0 to a fine if i differentiate if i integrate it what is integration of 1 by theta it is ln of theta applying limit i'll get ln of theta 2 by theta 1 should be equal to minus u integration of da is a after substituting of limit i'll get a minus 0 so leave it leave that 0 i'll get 1 by ch plus 1 by cc call this as equation number 2 now we need to find the ch and cc for that we'll have energy balance equation for entire heat exchanger 
that is q equals qh equals qc whatever heat that has been rejected by hot fluid is received by c that itself is the total heat transfer this is the energy balance equation for heat exchanger and previously we have written energy balance equation for elemental area don't be confused here we have d and here we don't speak about d fine there is no d term over here so this will be m cp into dt for hot fluids right and here m cp and dt for cold fluids then so m into cp is nothing but c for this hot fluid into dt of hot fluid so now here i have q so what is this ch ch is q divided by dt of hot fluid what is the dt of hot fluid change in temperature of hot fluid is inlet to outlet difference this is what it is inlet difference over here th i and th now this is the total temperature difference coming to the cold fluid similar to this we have the terms we will get cc as q by dt of c and hence we will get the expression q over change in temperature of cold fluid okay why is the inlet taken here first and the outlet is taken as first in the sense we are just taking higher minus lower value and here it is higher and this is lower value fine so now coming to the next step we have to substitute this ch and cc in this equation I repeat substituting these two in equation number two i will get ln of theta by 2 as minus ua 1 over ch that is temperature difference over q right this is reciprocal of that h ch so i get the expression in this manner ln of theta by 2 is minus ua thi minus th naught by q and this is 1 over cc now take this minus sign into this bracket and q as a lcm and take it out so i'll get minus thi plus th naught minus tc naught plus tci fine so now tci and thi difference of these two is nothing but theta 1 it is from the inlet part thi minus tci is theta 1 getting it similarly th naught minus tc naught is theta 2 is that clear I repeat minus sign is being taken inside so plus will become minus minus will become plus okay so we have thi and th naught the change in signature and tc naught and tci with the change in the signatures if i say thi sorry fine we'll speak about these two tc naught and th naught difference of these three is theta 2 that i have taken at first fine so now thi minus tci is theta 1 with opposite sign so here i'll get minus okay so now i'll get ln of theta by 2 carried forward from here should be equal to u a q u a by q into theta 2 minus theta 1 so q will be rearranged to q equals u a into theta 2 minus theta 1 divided by this ln of theta 2 by theta 1 so in short form we will write it like u a into theta m where theta m is lmtd logarithmic mean temperature difference 
and that value is given by theta 2 minus theta 1 by ln of theta 2 by theta 1 or else it is theta 1 minus theta 2 in the other way taking minus over here and taking reciprocal of these two over here it is one at the same so if the question in your examination is to derive LMTD mean you have to mention this term it is more important if question is like derive the equation for rate of heat transfer even if you don't define this term it's nothing big mistake likewise but again however you have done two pages of derivation it doesn't make much more difference to add these steps okay here you should not be confused difference of these two theta 1 and difference of these two is sorry difference of these two is theta 2 and here it is theta 1 with negative sign because we have THA minus TCA here it is other way around fine I hope you have understood this concept thank you